these guys have hey, had to face each other. They, I feel like they've been around since the early 80s. Yeah, like clear, yeah they clear. practice all, all the time. These guys have been playing each other for decades. They're both using the same offensive playbook in Tampa Bay. So when I tell you they're very familiar with each other, I'm not just, you know, pulling the chain. I'm dead serious. They practice daily and it's going to be hard. That's an awkward situation when you're going up against someone that you're very familiar with. I've been in those situations uh, before, and sometimes those turn out to be the you best game. The so we uh, could have a good one on our hands here. So Duke is in the red uniforms, and Joke is in the black. Yep. Well, the white. Duke going to be the home team. But if you're looking team. at the scoreboard, yeah, Duke is the home team. Yeah, he's the home team. That's going to be the score on the... Top right, right there. That's Duke, right there. It's gonna be Joke. And so Duke will start with it first. And a bunch it up. And taking his time here, getting some audibles out. And he decides to go to the delay, and Vic Beasley is right there to make the stop. And that was all Joke. He's sitting there, stood right over that gap. And that wasn't no coincidence. Joke knows that if he goes for that draw, that's the gap he needs to shoot. That's what we talk about when they say these guys are familiar with each other. And now you see him, he, can, he switched who he's user controlling because he now knows Duke is in a passing situation. So he went to the bunch side. Problem with Jones that. gets out to the 39. One of the things we didn't talk about as far as the difference between you know, the classic play and what we're, you know, in the online play of Madden Ultimate Team is unless you have an identifier chemistry, you normally don't see the user. Yeah, and classic play, you can see who the person's user controlling at all times. Like you see, he's user controlling Beasley. So if you see him switch his defender and say he gets stuck on a D lineman or something, you could quick hike him, get him out of position, take advantage of all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of small things like that that make the difference between playing online and on the couch against somebody right next to you. Well, Duke on a drive here, first and 10 at the 49. These guys play awfully similar. I almost feel like we're watching Joke. <laughs> yeah, both in that bunch. You can see that motion. Goes back to Freeman. Freeman can't break the tackle, and Vic Beasley already playing a big game thus far for Joke. I like what Duke did right there, though. He did the motion, and usually when you see that motion, you're expecting crossing routes. Gave him a different look, motion, draw, keep him off balance. That's a setup play right there by Duke. So second and nine. Gave up some big plays as well. Both these guys gave up some big plays in their first match. You talk about just getting one win really boosts your chances up. Screen. That's going to break up a big third down. It's worth noting these guys are in groups of four. Three get out. Yes. So this is a big game, but it's not do or die yet. Yeah, that's a good point there, Coltrane. And the key is winning that group. If you're the person that wins that yeah. group, you get a buy in the next round. You're in the final four. Guarantee yourself a lot of money, and then you only need to win one game to make the finals, which guarantees you a spot in that ultimate league at the end of the season. Yeah, really liking this format. Not only regs, uh, but the eight guys coming here. And really, we, you know, we were sitting there last night over some brisket saying, I think any of these guys can win this thing. That brisket was good. It was really good. So no comment on anybody can win it. You just, I say brisket. You say and that's brisket. What you you know toward. where my head's at. You know where it can't help it. Big yep. fourth and five here, RG, with 2.07 on the clock here in the first quarter. It's a big moment. Wow, this is big. Enough Duke. of the brisket, huh? Fourth and five, <laughs> for real. This is huge for Duke. And Duke finds Gabriel at the 31-yard line. Huge fourth down conversion. Wow. That's a big play. He almost le led Gabriel into some trouble right there to Campbell, but luckily Campbell just a step behind, not able to lay the wood at the point of the catch. Big play right there by Duke. So Ryan will try to use his legs, and let's be honest, he's no Russell Wilson. Absolutely not. 
these guys, you've been seeing them take take some big hits on their quarterbacks. What's your guess, Matt Ryan's speed? Speed rating? 71. 72, not bad, not close, bad. Close. Second and 11. Of course, he definitely doesn't have the carry, <laughs> the carry rating e either. That was Makes you a little up. nervous. You catch him with a strip or a hit stick. We saw in that game earlier, tweez and joke. Now this one to the tight end, Austin Hooper, and he'll get to the 26-yard line. Four of four already in the passing game for Duke. Yeah, and Duke, we talked about it earlier, he controls the clock as good as anybody. As you can see, he's almost already taken away this whole first quarter with this open and drive. Really limiting Joke's possessions. Nobody in this tournament may be better than Duke at doing that. Yeah, this sort of his MO. You know, we've seen him over the last couple of years. Really likes to play ball control. And there's another first down. Move the chains for Duke. Yeah, I bet you they're going to go to the second quarter. Something interesting that Duke mentioned to me, the old Coltrane, he has a ton of experience. He's been doing this for over a decade. Mm -hmm. He's never been in a tournament where he got matched up against one of his lab partners, which is happening right here in this game against Joke. So he said that's something new that he's going to have to deal with. Uh, so far, so good for him, though. Well, we got... You got... Uh, Joke and Duke here, but then you also have Skimbo and Dubby coming up a little later. It's going to be fun. That's the, that's the third match. That's the rubber match. If Duke wins this one, he might be on JBL. Oh, he had him! Oh, he missed the A wide receiver flying right up the seam. Butt naked looking for the ball, and he just couldn't identify him. Joke knows he got away with one right there. So second and 16 now after the big sack. He is eating up that clock. The defense. And he will take off and he'll slide down at the 20 yard line. And Joke is just waiting for his moment. It's a lot of focus right there. Joke, poker player, keeping the poker face going right there. Got to get you one of those noble jerseys. <laughs> Third and nine. It's a big play right here. Brings Gabriel in motion. Play action. It's good defense. Oh, oh no. no. You don't want pass. that. You don't want one that. Time, oh, time. what you saw was that fumble, indicator fumble, came up fumble. on the screen. That means Duke hit the left trigger Only accidentally, which brought up the target passing. Prevented him from being able to throw the ball. You oh, see Lordy. that? Oh, my gosh. Oh, Lordy. What a mistake right there by Duke. Can't say that I haven't done it. <laughs> a time or two, RG. But at this level, ouch. What it is is last year, the playmaker, your receiver, you would mm -hmm. hold the left trigger and flick up the right stick to tell the receiver, hey, redirect your route this way. This year, it's only the right stick, but some people right, accidentally stick. press that left trigger, which is what brings up the target passing mechanic. Costly mistake, potentially, right there from Duke, because if you're joke, you can go down here, get seven, Make sure Duke doesn't get the ball back and get the ball up four at the start the second half. You could be in a good situation. Well, he almost takes six and a half minutes off the clock to start the game. Only comes away with a field goal. And so first and 10 for Joke and Freeman. Like he shot out of a cannon for four yards. When you talk about the skies and plays, Scott, I love what Joke did right there. He ID'd the mic. On that slot DB right there, that means he's telling his blockers, hey, pick him up whenever you see that M symbol over him. But then he runs the ball, and that's showing him, hey, just because I'm ID in the mic doesn't mean I'm passing. Good mix up right there by Joe. He'll get out to the 43. I, I, I won't lie, I run some fake hot routes and then run it. It's important. It's important, especially when playing on this level. You got to give dudes different looks. It, they'll get hip to your tendencies, and you want to do all that you can to not let that happen. Already out at the 43-yard line. Shotgun bunch is going to decide to go up under center. Look at this. A little new formation from Joke. 
look at him, directing traffic at the line of scrimmage, doing his best Peyton Manning impression. And all of a sudden, he's in gun doubles as the play clock runs down and hands it off to Freeman. <laughs> And the inside zone goes nowhere. Yeah, it looked like he had plenty of lanes, lanes to run the ball right there. Just couldn't make anything big happen. The joke takes a sip of the water, bombing his head, staying calm. You know, his EMB crews at home watching, cheering on their leader. He's a huge Miley Cyrus fan. That's what he's listening to. <laughs> That's wrong. I, I kid. I, I kid. That's wrong. Coming up on two minutes remaining. Choke actually told me he listens to Spanish music, and I'm going to butcher this name, but he says Despacito. Despacito. That's the, I, I, I might have butchered it. That but sounds, no, that sounded pretty I'm legit. On point. That sounded pretty legit. Dun, 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 dun. Shoot, shoot. So second and seven. Looking for a fiesta in the end zone is Joke. The pocket. And Austin Hooper gets to the 47 yard line, the second year man out of Stanford. And it's hilarious watching these guys play. They're both in the gun bunch offense. They're both running some nickel 335 defense. And there goes Freeman again. Freeman's really starting to run downhill. And it, like they talked about, it comes down to execution. The only mistake we've seen so far is Duke accidentally pulling up that target passing. But you can tell both of these guys really comfortable moving each other, moving the ball against each other. Joke ID in the mic again. And that's slot DB. Under a minute to go in the half, and Freeman goes ahead and chews up seven more yards. Yep, and he's in field goal range. There's about 48 seconds left. If you're joke, you're gonna take away this whole second quarter. You gotta make sure at the minimum you get three, but if you can get seven and get the ball to start the second half, you put yourself in a really good position to win this game. He's got room. Matt Ryan, off to the races. The slowest 11 yards in the history of Madden. Wow. And true font right there, just staying back. You gotta wonder, did Duke not crash him down to go chase on the quarterback? Or if he was in deep zone, deep zone sometimes won't react to that spy crash mechanic. Both players with still three timeouts, and we're now we're down to the 14, and Joke decides to use the first of three timeouts. Yeah, it gets stingy down here if you Joke. You need to get yourself in the end zone to really take control of this game. Bringing the safeties down. Yep, he's going to move. And Ryan will roll to the left. Uh-oh. And he oh. finds his tight end to the nine-yard line, and that'll stop the clock. Yeah, that was a crispy pass, Coltrane. Rolling out, looked like he was going to cross the line of scrimmage. Little throw on the run, dump down. You've heard of the RBO, the you know the the run the, sort of the run pass option. And that was a nice RPO right there. Game designer Anthony White will love to see that. He's a big fan of that offense. Playbook guru Anthony White, shout out to him on the Madden Dev team. So 22 ticks left in the half. Joke trailing by a field goal. And Freeman will walk into the end zone. Yeah, and we talked about execution, and Duke's making these little mistakes right there. You talked about you can see who the, your opponent's controlling. Joe catches Duke controlling that outside cornerback. That means he's not on a linebacker, not able to shoot those gaps, takes full advantage of it. Touchdown. And he tried to sort of click on, but I got caught up with Grady on Jarrett on the line. Exactly. And Joke with a four-point lead here. And Duke was trying to get sticky, but he gets taken down at the 30-yard line. Now Duke does have three timeouts here. We got 16 seconds. You do have Julio Jones. Get, getting into field goal range, taking a shot downfield is not an absurd thing. If you're joking, you still need to stay stingy in this situation. And that's why you see him in this nickel 3-3-5 instead of a quarter three deep prevent type D. Well, he's really spread it out here. Trips to the left. And he'll hand it to Freeman. And he'll use his first time out of the half. And you know, when, especially in Madden 18, if you're in a pass defense, 
Sometimes running the ball at the end of the half can be huge. Absolutely, especially if you're in a 12-type personnel. The problem for Duke right there is he's in that 11-type personnel. Not enough tight ends and big bodies out there to move the defenders out the way. So second and six. The other thing is you can't turn the ball over here. Oh, if you're going to take a shot, it needs to be way downfield. That's a great way to lose a game. Uh-oh, he's got room! And Freeman, oh, he cuts it back! It's oh, Duke! Oh. With two seconds left people. in the half, takes it to the crib. Oh my goodness, Joke's disgusted. Duke's feeling it. That was huge, Coltrane. That was insane. Swerved him. Wow. Look at it again here, RG. Look at the cutback to the other side of the field, and then let me hit you with one more cutback for the glory. Slow it down as Duke is on his horse getting vintage and Joke trying to contain the rage, but he looks like he's about to snap. The extra point was good in true font. RIP your ankles, my friend, as Duke walks into the end zone with Freeman, and wow. It's a field goal game. Really thought Duke was in control of this one. But you know, with, with, with Joke going down there, working the clock, Duke's working the clock, sort of back and forth, but only a few seconds left and a half, 12 to be exact, and Freeman takes it to the house. Yeah, we got stuck talking about, oh, if you're Duke, you can't turn the ball over, don't give Joke all the momentum, and then he's like, boom, <laughs> punch him in the mouth, let me take it all the way to the crib, and he just ran it, and he punched him right in the mouth, took it to the outside, making moves, and that is how you lose football games if you're Joke, and that's how you win Madden games. <laughs> If you Duke. We got six more matches to do Sorry. after this, my Sorry. friend. So if you could. You're pumped up. You, you're over, you're over 9,000 now. So let's go to the guys that uh, are a little more calm. Gentlemen, take it away. Thank you, guys. Love seeing RG get that fired up. That gets me fired up. That's awesome. I, I was about to say that Duke was uh, locked in another defensive struggle here, Rico. And then that big run happened there at the end of the half. If you're Joke. You know you're a guy who needs to control your emotions already. How do you bounce back from that? You remember that you get the ball to start the half. Right now, he should have actually been down 14-7. But remember, Duke hit that left trigger, messed up. Sometimes Madden's good to you, as Farrell says. Sometimes Madden's not. He needs to just remember he gets the ball, keep calm, keep cool, keep collected, and run your offense. Duke hasn't been near anything he's run so far, so he can still feel comfortable knowing he's in control of this game. Yeah, let's take one more look at that big run at the end of the first half here. Rico, talk me through what you're seeing here. Right now, you see a mental lapse on Joke's part. Right there where they bumped into each other, he took the wrong angle. Joke didn't pay attention in geometry class. And right here, whoop, that's just stick work. And Duke actually showing that he's played four million games, and he understands how to make this thing works. No doubt about it. Now, we know that every Madden player out there wants to get better. Nobody knows that better than our guy, Zach Farley. He was lucky enough to get some tips and tricks from one of our competitors here today, Stevie J. Let's check it out. What's up, gamers? Z Farrell's here to teach you how to play like a pro in Madden NFL 18. In this video, we've got Stevie J, the 33rd man, the first man out of the Madden Championship. He was so close to making it last year, just as close as the Falcons were to winning the Super Bowl. But let's take a look at how he got to the Madden Classic with the single back tight slots, half back pitch, a completely balanced formation until he brings Gabriel across. At the snap of the ball, pause it. What you're gonna see is that extra blocker lets him get a seal, a seal, and another seal. Freeman, one of the fastest players in the game, when he gets to full speed, is outrunning every single linebacker to the corner, earning that brand new paycheck. And Stevie J, he's open to earn himself. That's some, some high-level Madden right there, huh, Zach? Yeah, I mean, we saw a huge run at the end of the half in that game, and then you got Stevie J with the run. I mean, the, the biggest shocker to me, though, is the Twitch chat actually stopped typing Madden drops, and they started just typing hashtag more pitch over and over and over again. So shout-out to those guys that are watching us over there today. Stevie J changing the game out here. Uh, what makes his offense so different compared to some of these other competitive guys that we're going to see today? Well, what makes it the same is everybody else's offense is he actually stole it from somebody else, but he did get permission from Jay to run it, so that's cool. But uh, overall, the balance that he has and the commitment to the run game, not a lot of people commit to the run game. You obviously guy, see guys like Skimbo that uh, won the championship last year be able to air the ball out no matter what the, the scenario. Stevie J wants to be a run-first player. That seems to be working here, especially in regular teams where 
you know, you got to kind of see how the game shakes out. But last year, you know, regs, regs teams, you get a lot of run plays. Awesome. Well, we, this is the Madden Classic. We are throwing it back. We're looking at classic Madden, including some of these old covers here. Rico, 1995, what were you doing in 95? I was a freshman at the University of Delaware. Let's go fighting blue hands. I was battling it out with everybody in the dorms, establishing my Madden dominance. And we're... we're we're encroaching on my territory. Madden 2000, <laughs> oh, that, 2001, that's kind of where I got going. For right now, let's throw it down to Adrian Lawrence. She's on the sidelines. Adrian? Thanks so much, Dave. I am here with Duke, who just had an incredible run coming from behind. Now you're leading 10-7. Can you tell us about that play that got you in the lead? Yeah, you know, I've scored a lot on the last play of the halves and games running the ball. So I figured with 10 seconds left, there was a better chance to score running than passing. So that's why I did that. And, uh, you know, I saw I had the edge, got outside. Then I saw he clicked on, cut back inside, and was gone. And I know the Seahawks, a very popular team to run with. And this time you decided to go with the Falcons. Can you tell us why? I don't really like the Seahawks for the way I play. I like to pass um, and run a little bit, too. They don't get good enough blocking for the way I play, so that's why I don't use them. All right, good luck in the second half. Back to you, the casters. All right, thank you so much, Adrian, down there with Duke, and looks a little more confident after that long run. Oh, I bet. You go from being going to be down four points to kicking the ball off to now you're back in the lead, give yourself a little bit of cushion. And like you said, that's, he, that's something he's practiced. He's tried airing it out in that situation before, has had more success for the run, and those reps and experience, you know, it all pays off. It all accumulates to these big moments, and he took advantage of it right there. Nothing really gets to him. We've seen him take some big L's out here in, in these tournaments. And, you know, whether it's going good or going bad for him, it's really hard to tell with Duke. He's sort of the same either way. Yeah, and, th you know, to his credit, right? That's yeah, not easy that's, to that's do. A, that's you a saw, compliment. Yeah, this could coming from a guy that spiked the controller on national television. It's, <laughs> it's, it's not easy to keep that cool, especially when you're competing on Madden. What about that long run as we look at Joke? He, you know, he clicked on to True Font tried to get in position, and then clicked off a, to try to make the play. That's a lot of faith in Trufant. Yeah, that's a very good observation right there, Coltrane. You, you, when you're the best players in the world, sometimes you make a mistake, and if you choke, you would want to just be able to use, make the user tackle in that situation and not rely on his AI. Came back to bite him in the butt. So here we go. Joke's going to get it here in the second half, as Rico pointed out. And he's going to need a big drive. He, he, he thought for the first time, maybe I'm going to take the lead into the half. And then got absolutely gouged on that run. Yeah, this is going to be big for Joke right here. And like we said, he's he's dealt with adversity before. He's built to come back from that. This is the number three seed from last year. This is a guy that made over $40,000 playing Madden last year. And he's if anyone's built to fight through that adversity, it's this new and improved Joke that you know, can control his emotions and fight through that type of stuff. If this was old joke, I'd be like, it's over. We don't even got to call the rest of this game, but we still got a really interesting second half of Madden football upon us here. Second and one after the gain of nine, and Joke sticking with a running game here. It's been working, and Freeman takes it to the 44. You see that so many times when you're playing players, especially online. You get down and they go away from their whole game plan when they're only trailing by three. Yeah, that's it's really easy to do that. You see it in real life sometimes. Oh, yeah. T teams just getting away from their game plans. Uh, luckily for these two guys, they're experienced enough. They got enough reps. They know what they need to do. I don't think we're going to see that from Joke. He's going to stay in this bunch. He's going to mix up the run in the pass. He's going to throw his crossing routes, check down underneath. Just got the feeling this game's going to come down to red zone defense. Yeah, and let's not forget ball control. One thing that's frustrating for Joe is he had one possession in that entire first half. So you know with Duke's ball control, you better capitalize on each and every possession, which makes this one right here so pivotal to start the second half. Well, Duke only had two possessions. One was six minutes and 30 seconds that led to a field goal, and then he had the ball for about 28 seconds for a touchdown. So... Second and seven here, RG, and seeing a lot of bunch from these guys. And I like that I keep seeing Joke ID the mic on that slot corner because Duke is sending him very often, and that's a great way to pick him up. Julio getting icky in the open field. Almost broke it for six. You know, Reg, especially for the Falcons, has been known sort of as the Julio mode, but we haven't really seen him make a big play 
yet in these first two matches. Yeah, you don't see him, the way Madden is this year, you don't see a lot of big passes deep downfield. It's a lot of check downs and making moves, rack catches, and putting a, you know, move on the defender in the open field. Seeing a lot more of that. Both these guys 0-1, dropping their first game of the day here in the Madden Classic. Coming to you live from LA. Scott Cole and RG with you here for, the only thing we do know is the Falcons are gonna get their first win. <laughs> when you're right, you're right, Coltrane. It, do you like this where there's no second match going on right now? It's like it puts the focus on how big this game is. I do, I do. You, uh, you have more of an appreciation for what's going on right here because trying to call the other game and then you hear chaos getting animated. <laughs> what's going on? I already have ADD. <laughs> and there is Good Freeman free. wide open. Nice play by Campbell at the nine yard line. Seven for seven for Joke. Yeah, he's playing a good game. He held Duke to three on his opening drive, walked right down the field, got a touchdown, didn't leave Duke much time, but it was that one big run that put him behind here, and that's the type of adversity you need to fight through. Well, in his game versus Tweez, remember it was two big plays, a deep pass play and a long run by Thomas Rawls that sort of did Joke in. Hands it off to Telvin Coleman, and he gets in for seven. Talk to him, Joe. Uh, well, you, I'm, that makes me a little nervous because Joe's saying it should be 14-3. It should be 14-3. That means that that halftime touchdown is still in his head, and that's the type of behavior that got him in trouble before. However, Tevin Coleman, Slice, and Dyson, still a very prolific drive right there from Joe. How about these running backs from Indiana? A little Jordan Howard, little Tevin Coleman. That was a good drive, though, by Joe. One of his fans, I told, I promised Joke I'd give a shout out to one of his biggest supporters, Mr. Golden Sports. He's one of the oh, yeah. top Twitch streamers, one of the top YouTubers in Madden, and this is a guy that's really been supporting competitive Madden, and that's one of Joke's biggest fans, and Joke said, hey, gee, if I start doing moves, you gotta give a shout out to Golden Sports. Golden Sports, we all love you. Hopefully Joke can get it done for you, brother. Yeah, GS is the man. I always appreciate dropping by and seeing what he's got going on. It's awesome. And his 50 million coins <laughs> on Mutt. <laughs> He's a Mutt ball. <laughs> yeah, he is. Can't lie, I'm a, little, I'm a little jelly. You love seeing those guys support competitive Madden and yeah. these players, though. Absolutely. And they appreciate it. They truly do. Second and ten. Third quarter just flying by. And there goes Freeman. Try to get a block from Hooper there, but he'll get it out to the 36. It'll be a new set of downs. This nickel 3-3-5 defense just doesn't look like the answer to stop this run at all. These guys are walking up the field. Well, that's the thing with both of these guys is they're trying not to give up the big play, not trying not to give up the big pass play. You know what Atlanta has as we move into the fourth quarter. Put your fours up. You, know, you got Julio, you got Gabriel out there, guys with a lot of speed. You're trying not to give up the big play, and you're also, the 3-3-5 is what, where they're bringing the pressure from. Yep, it's a good defense not to give up the big play, unless it's the end of the half and Duke just says, <laughs> try you for about an 80-yard run. Good I'm the one that's supposed to do the trolling. You're not, <laughs> that's, that's not you, RG. Sometimes I can't help it. <laughs> it just happens. So second and 11, ball in the 35. This is a big drive. Look at that, Joke with four sacks already on Duke. Let's see if he can get one, another one. You know he wants to maybe send that corner right there off the edge. Passing situation, second and 11. We've already seen Duke have a six minute plus drive. <gasps> Boy, Vic Beasley is right there almost with the lurk. That's frustrating. Joke read him like a book, knew where it was coming, but his execution and stick work wasn't perfect, and he wasn't able to get his hands on the ball and take it the other way. Just because you know what's coming doesn't mean that that's all you need to do. Like we said, the key to the game is you need to execute. Joke didn't execute right there. And Vic Beasley, I love him. He went to Clemson. He's a great guy. But he's a pass rusher. <laughs> yeah, yeah he, he's, he's not your prototypical linebacker like maybe a Deion Jones. 
who's, who's a little more lurk worthy. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good point. But when you're playing with these Falcons, they, they need three linebackers. You have Campbell and Jones that can play coverage. Vic Beasley is the only other one with enough height and speed that can guard some of those routes, which is why they need to put him out there and use a control him. <gasps> Boy, Yo, almost threw another one, and there's Vic Beasley win. not being user-controlled. And Joke's standing yeah. up. He's he's doing one of the hand gestures at the TV. What are you, you doing? Come game. on. And he this just so wants pathetic, to make a big man. play, trying to motivate himself. Come on. Joke game. getting frustrated. Shit's he's over. up four, though. 14-3 the ball. What you got to watch out for is Duke controlling this clock, taking too on, much away go. from a getting seven and leaving you no time. Duke, literally every time he snaps it so takes almost all 40 God seconds. Oh, damn. that's big. Had to use a timeout there. Play clock was about to expire. And you're right, with 245, got to use one of those precious timeouts. And what that means now is he is now committed on this drive to having to go for seven. There's no more three and kicking it off and playing defense. Using that timeout lets me know Duke is fully committed to pathetic. trying to score a touchdown on this drive, kill God as much clock as possible, and win this game 17-14. Easier said than done. There's Freeman, nine carries for 95 yards, so he's about to go over the century mark. Of course, none bigger than the run he had before the half. Those two guys right on the couch, two friends. Duke looking emotionless, jokes fed up. It's better be on the couch here in L.A. than in a recliner in North Carolina, I can tell you that. <laughs> First and 10 from the 39. Two-minute warning. Nope. He's going to get a playoff here. And no, I'm leaving. All over the backfield. It's a tackle for loss as Campbell shot the gap. Joe talking to himself. I miss Little Man. He'd have the thunder sticks right now. He'd be standing up on a chair. I, I can hear him from Jersey from here. <laughs> Second and 13. This is a passing down. This is a big play. Ryan will go to the air. He's got to run pass. it. And he dives oh. to the 32. Boy, that was a big pancake as he broke the pocket oh, that allowed him to pick up nine yards. Nine yards, but the thing that was scary is he got that dive animation <laughs> instead of the slide animation, which could have caused the fumble right there. If you're Duke, you gotta be more careful than that. Third and three. It's big play after big play, another one. Yeah, the whole playbook is open here. Gun bunch, Julio to the left. He could run. This is two down territory for him, so a run is very possible. And Joke's not in his preferred run defense. He's not controlling that Vic Beasley. He's in pass defense right now. And he will take off of Matty Ice again, and he'll get to the 27-yard line. Goodness. This is a prolific drive right here by Duke. Boy, he had two drags going there, a little in or out too, but did not want to let it go. Stay patient. He's making Joe, Joe try to do a lot with that user defender. He's got to guard the crossing routes and account for the scrambling quarterback because there's no spy on the field. It's a lot of work. It's a lot to ask for. Ooh. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Matty Ice back there. That's not like Michael Vick in the Falcons uniform. You don't want to put a spy. Yeah, you on Matt Ryan, who's got 72 speed, no, but it's a good point. You it's worked. Don't want to waste a spy on him at all. Joe gets caught on Jared. That's not good. Come on, follow oh, he hit him hard. This is awful, 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 awful. Uh oh, joke. Uh -oh. You gotta keep your cool, man. <clears throat> all of a sudden, Madden 16 joke coming out there a little bit. I mean, it's a lot of pressure. They're both 0 and 1. He let up a. a play that's really hard to swallow down. I mean, that touchdown before half would frustrate almost anybody. He's doing his best to hold on, but these pressure situations, they'll get they'll get to you. Well, both of these guys 0-1 oh so God far in their groups. 36 seconds remaining for Joke to stop Duke from getting a touchdown there, and there goes Matt Ryan again. Oh, oh, one, one time! No! One time! 
This shit is fucking pathetic, man. God damn, this game is pathetic. Oh, man, hopefully, uh... Holy f... Woo. So, Matt Ryan uh, somehow holds off four guys and secures the football. And Look at the clock. It's ticking. It's ticking. He's got two timeouts. He's going for it again. And and we're down to one play here. You oh had to call God. a timeout. You lost so much valuable time there, RG. Oh, my gosh. This is nuts. This is bananas. Joke's either going to be amped. He's going to be amped regardless. Is it, it going to be a glory amped, or is it going to be a I want to run through a wall, I'm very angry type amped? Well, Duke is in finance, but that wasn't very smart. Oh, my gosh. Here it is, Coltrane. This is it. This is for the game. This is, this is for the guap. This is what it's about. Needs nine yards. Matt Ryan forces it low. He dropped okay. it. God damn. And that's it. This game fucking sucks. He dropped it. Holy Joke fuck. talking bad about the game. It's sad to hear God for a damn. guy that plays full time <laughs> and has made quite a bit of money playing the game. Don't I mean, make me come down good. there. <laughs> Big win for Joke, though. I mean, I can't believe Duke lit that. Boy, that was a huge. He had two timeouts, RG. He needed to call a timeout there. He would have had about 15 seconds. That's at least two or three plays. I think what happened is he got too one-dimensional with scrambling with Matt Ryan. He knew that was what Joke was giving him, and he started relying on it. But at some point, when that clock's ticking, you need to start airing it out. You need to have a sense of urgency. And the guy that we said has prolific clock management <laughs> just let it backfire on him. Yeah, he was trying to sort of have that last minute score, last second score that wouldn't give, you know, basically joke any time for any heroics. Yeah, he was close to doing that. Didn't work out. Let's be interesting to see if Joe can keep his composure for the rest of this tournament because he has a big game coming up. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast, Adrian. Thanks so much, guys. Now, joke, that was really intense at that last moment down there. What were you doing to prevent Duke from scoring. Well, I was getting cheated on every play. But, I mean, I, I knew he was going to try to do like a high pass or low pass, so I just ran cover four and just hoped they broke it up. And you were coming off a loss against an unknown com competitor, uh, very young, and going now against this veteran player. How did you change your game? Well, I mean, I knew more what Duke was going to run. Like, I didn't really get to see Tweet's play, and like I, what I thought was going to stop him didn't stop him at all. So I had a better game plan against Duke because I've seen him play a lot more. And I've played against him because we actually lab. So, like, it was easier to compare to him than to two because I didn't know what he was going to run. And also going in this Madden Classic setup where you have the mirror matchup going against another Falcons team, can you tell us how did you approach I mean, you go into the game the same way. And you're one and one right now. You breathing any easier? Yeah, a lot better because if I lose that game, then I got to beat Chaos by a certain amount of points. And he, like so much, so much happens, has to happen for me to get in if I lose that game. So, yeah, I'm like, it's... And last question for you. What were you listening to? Uh, I don't even remember, to be honest. Like, I, I wasn't even paying attention to the music, to be honest. I don't remember. Well, whatever it was, it worked for you. Congratulations. Back to you guys.